to us a little bit about what that experience has been like and uh, feel free to you know talk about any platforms that you've used to, to execute on it and your whole strategy are you using one are you using multiple platforms for different things how do they all fit with your other tools that you talked about uh, especially the ehr uh, platform but also other tools uh, that are involved in delivering the seamless experience for patients yeah sure um so we had an experience like most others. Uh, we were uh, we had a pretty small telehealth footprint. We had some early adopters pre-pandemic. Uh, some really impressive work, though, uh, pre-pandemic. Um, for instance, our movement disorder clinic uh, had a, has a neurologist that um, was a very early adopter uh, of um, of telehealth. His patients are ALS patients who have tremendous movement and mobility disorders, and it's it takes an army to bring them to our clinic and. And he has a he has a pretty wide um, um, uh, capture rate or capture geography, and so he was able to. Uh, we were able to work with him to enable video visits of these patients. It was a tremendous satisfier. Very white glove, uh, very high touch uh, at the time on, on our side. Uh, of course, we had the same hockey stick uh, increase in volume as everybody else did in March of last year. We went from. No kidding now, no, uh, we went from 100 visits a month to uh, 2,000 visits a day, uh, much like everybody else. Uh, we, like uh, I've seen in, from colleagues around the country in the last couple of months, have seen uh, these numbers uh, tail. Uh, the truth is our highest month volume since the start of the pandemic was March of 2021. Uh, and, and then we've, and since March, we've uh, started to tail off just a little bit. We remain, uh, we continue to have pretty high volume in some specialties. Our behavioral health and psychiatry clinics have remained um, uh, very high adopters of, high utilizers of. Um, our primary care clinics are, uh, are continuing to, to be strong here. Certainly some of the um, uh, specialty and surgery clinics as well. Uh, we have a primary platform that's embedded in our, in our electronic health record. And we have a backup platform too. So we are able to um, capture if in fact a person doesn't have the, a, a, a patient doesn't have an app on their device or has some connectivity issues, then we can rescue or salvage that uh, by sending a, a rescue link. And so we have uh, two active platforms that we're working with. 